Leanne Bry of the Bry for Heritage Initiative has set a new Guinness World Record for the longest Bry ever recorded. This record was previously held by a German chef, and it was after 28 hours and 30 minutes that Jan was crowned the new king of the Bry in front of cheering spectators at the V&A waterfront in Cape Town. Uh, it's fantastic that this record is now uh, in its rightful home. It's silly that it wasn't here from the start. Now it's here, I call on my fellow South Africans to make sure that it stays here. Uh, for six years now, we've been calling on our fellow South Africans, the 50 million people living in this fantastic country, to celebrate the common heritage that all South Africans have, and that is to gather around fires and cook your food on that fire, have a braai, on 24 September every year. Hot coals, lots of meat, enough hot coals. Ah, good friends and family, good conversation. We've got some Freddy Hirsch, Camilla at Budavos, some lamb chops from the Karoo, fries, vegetarian patties, Karen beef steaks, got some BRM spare ribs, and then we've got a piece of chicken over there. So we've got all the important ingredients of a braai. News 24 spoke to Tariq Kavara, an official adjudicator from Guinness World Records in London, to find out how they monitored Jan's record-breaking attempts. So I'm here to verify that everything is being followed according to our guidelines from Guinness World Records and uh, make sure that the standards are always high and the food is edible. So we've got two independent timekeepers and witnesses who will witness the entire marathon. Um, told there's four of uh, each, so they will be taking shifts to do that. And everything will be documented by them. And uh, it's my responsibility to come here and check that they are doing as they should. But obviously the food has to be cooked thoroughly. I mean, it, it cannot just be heated. Um, and uh, being a real uh, wood-burning barbecue here, it's essential that the food tastes as it should do. Well, it's different in terms of, I think it's uh, gas that we use predominantly for our barbecuing. Some people do use coal, uh, but as you can see, I don't know if you can have a look there, but there's some wood that's being chopped as we speak. That's being put into the burner here and then transferred onto the main barbecue there. So it really is an authentic barbecue that you can see. Uh, this meat is fantastic. Thank you, Jan Brian. Thanks for having such a cool function, especially at lunchtime. We're really enjoying it. Cool. And it's Friday after all.